Manchester United expected to accelerate deal for Sofian Amrabat in the next few days. Manchester United huffed and puffed and were made to work extremely hard but ended up securing all three points against Wolverhampton Wanderers in their Premier League opener. United struggled to contain the counter-attacks that Wolves kept springing, and the player that struggled the most was Casemiro who was almost left alone to deal with the Wolves' threat. Both Mason Mount and Bruno Fernandes were playing so high up the pitch, and neither dropped deep to support their teammate to deal with the Wolves' threat. Casemiro struggled versus Wolves. Matthias Nunes and Matthias Kunter ran the Brazilian ragged and it was easy to see that the former Real Madrid star was unable to cope on his with the pace and intensity. During preseason, Eric Ten Hag was utilizing the super-talented United Academy graduate Kabi Mainu as part of the double pivot alongside Casemiro, and that worked in the game against Arsenal. United have huge games against Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal coming up within the next couple of weeks and it's clear to see that Ten Hag needs to bring in another midfield general to ease the pressure off Case Miro. United have been long linked with Sofian Amrabat of Fiorentina, but were waiting to raise money through player sales before going in for the Moroccan. After what Tim Hag saw on Monday, a move for Amrabat is expected to accelerate in the coming days. As per La Repubblica, United are expected to lunge for the midfielder soon. Manchester United remains interested in Sofian Amrabat, and in these hours is conducting some outgoing transfers that could allow the English club to concentrate on the lunge for the midfielder. The agreement with the Moroccan already exists, and Fiorentina does not budge from the request for around 30 million euros to let him go. Another outlet Fiorentina dotted have relayed the words of Lana Zaini, and they say that United's offer is likely to arrive in the next few days now that Fred has left the club and Donny van de Beek is also in talks over an exit. Amrabat to the rescue. The hope, as Lundin Zayani writes, is that the long-awaited offer for the Moroccan from Manchester United may arrive in the next few days. They are convinced of it in England, given that the Red Devils have sold Fred to Fenerbahce and are about to get rid of van de Beek as well. Amrabat is set to have closed doors to all possible alternative destinations and only has United in his mind. Hopefully, these reports will come true before the window closes on September 1st. United certainly need another defensive midfielder and Amrabat would be the ideal fit considering the rapport he shares with Ten Hag and the superlative season he enjoyed last term. In other news, Harry Maguire's £30 million transfer from Man United to West Ham collapses after he struggled to agree a £7 million payoff from his club even though personal terms were already agreed. Harry Maguire's £30 million move from Manchester United to West Ham has reportedly collapsed. The Hammers agreed the fee for the defender last Wednesday as David Moyes looks to strengthen his squad after the £105 million departure of Declan Rice to Arsenal earlier this summer. However, according to The Guardian, the Europa Conference League winners grew tired of waiting for the defender to finalize an exit from Old Trafford, with Maguire thought to want a payoff of around £7 million to leave the club. The collapse of the deal comes after Mail Sports Transfer Confidential reported on Monday how Maguire's move to West Ham was stagnating as United were hoping to bring in a replacement before sanctioning his departure. Eric Ten Hag's side finished third last season which meant the 30-year-old received a significant wage increase as a result of their return to the Champions League. Maguire had agreed personal terms with Moy's side but was said to be on less money and hence he wanted an appropriate settlement to leave the club. But so far the two parties have been unable to agree a settlement, and in turn the Hammers became frustrated by the lack of progress on the deal and have moved on to other targets. A move could be revived later this month, but for the moment it won't advance, with Maguire an unused substitute in United's 1-0 victory over Wolves on Monday night. The 30-year-old has had a tumultuous time at United since his record-breaking £80 million move from Leicester in 2019. He initially impressed and was appointed as club captain by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. However, in the past few years he has struggled and faced heavy criticism which culminated in him being stripped of the club captaincy earlier this summer by Ten Hag. West Ham were set to offer the England man game time ahead of Euro 2024 after he slipped down the pecking order at United last season, making just eight starts in the Premier League. Despite his lack of action at club level, Maguire remains a key figure for Gareth Southgate at international level, starting England's last 11 games in all competitions. However, he is likely to come under pressure for his position this season from the likes of Levy Colwell and Mark Guy, which increases the need for him to play regularly ahead of next summer's tournament. Speaking in March, Maguire defended his contribution to United despite slipping down to fifth-choice centre-back at points during the last campaign.
He said, Obviously this season, I haven't played as much as I'd like but, for my club, I feel like my form has been good this year. I know people obviously look at me not playing but when I've played I think in my last 8 or 9 starts for Manchester United we have won. I can't remember losing a game for Manchester United. It must be the third week of the season. So my influence is still there. It continues to be a frustrating summer for Moyes who has faced slow progress on his desired transfer business which has come amid clashes with technical director Tim Staten. They were the final Premier League club to make a signing, before eventually adding Ajax and Mexico star Edson Alvarez for £35.40 them last week. The Hammers then confirmed the signing of James Ward-Prowse for £30 million on Monday but need further reinforcements if they are to avoid another season of struggle in the top flight, with Gianluca Scamacca, Nikola Vlasic, Arthur Masuaku and Manuel Lanzini all joining Rice and leaving the club over recent months. They drew their first game of the Premier League campaign 1-1 with Bournemouth on Saturday. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.